Welcome in beautiful travelers. My name is Maria at Indigo Earth and I am here to do a reading for our fire sign Aries. Welcome in Aries. Good to have you here. Aries, you are the leaders. You are the soul illuminators. You are ruled by Mars, which is the planet of sensuality, sexuality, and aggression. Your dual nature is to be courageous. The courageous leaders, yet you can be headstrong and a little bit competitive. Your desire is to trail trailblaze. You're a trailblazer. <laughs> you are our frontline leaders. Your mantra is I am. I am. Welcome in cross watchers. You may be energetically connected to or physically in a relationship with an Aries. You're here to see what's going on with your person. Feel free to swap around the characters throughout the reading. As you know your situation, better your connection, better than anybody else. Time is fluid. Anytime you come across this, a day, a month, a year, and you were drawn into it, that was a time that you were meant to listen to it. So stay open to that process. And you and I are working together at a quantum level to bring a message to you for the highest frequency, the highest tone of your soul growth and soul evolution. As the micro goes, so the macro goes. Your influence matters. So we got a theme going for you here, Aries. We'll get into that in just a minute. Um, use your intuition. Use your inner knowing. Start exercising your, um, your intuitive hits, goosebumps, nudgings. You may hear a phrase or two and then hear the phrase or two a couple days from now. That's the universe trying to get your attention. So just stay open, start listening for, oh, something might strike a note. And sometimes the messages coming through can be warm and fuzzy. Sometimes the messages coming through can be a little bit more direct and abrasive. Just try to stay open to what you're hearing. <clears throat> Use your discernment. Take what resonates. If it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Some of you might be more in touch with your lunar sign this month. So you might want to check out your moon sign reading as well. And I'd like to thank you for all the comments and the feedback that you've been giving me. I really appreciate it. I do believe that I have solved the sound issue. So if you're still not able to hear me very well, please let me know. And I had a couple comments on um, that ideal shuffle too much. And you are very right. I shuffle too much. Um, part of the reason I do that is because I want the reading to be organic for you. And because I want the cards that want to pop out for the reading to be able to come out instead of me trying to force them out. But I hear you and I will try to streamline it a little bit. So thank you for your patience and thank you for your feedback. Much appreciated. And appreciating that you're here. Like and subscribe to the channel so that other Aries may get the mess messages that might be needed for them. Your support is honored and your support is appreciated. So... Thank you much. So let's see where we go with you today, Aries. Let's see where we go with you today. We've got the theme, the star, wish fulfillment, and we've got the queen of pentacles. Nurturing, taking care of yourself. This could be anything from changing your food habits. Exercise getting more sleep, just making yourself a priority. Really making yourself a priority. Because you're it, it seems like you're starting to tap in to higher knowledge, the star, right? There's some hope. There's some dreams, there's some desires, there's some inspiration, and it's going to take more than just you. So you're wanting to tap in. You're wanting to tap in, and it looks like you're starting to really get in touch with what are some things in my life that need to change. Do I need to change my diet? Do I need to change um, my thought processes? Do I need to change my reaction to things? Do I need to change um, some of my exercise habits? Do I need to change um, 
these are not outward changes. These are kind of like internal life long changes. So let's see where we go with you today, Aries. This message is for Aries. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. This message is for Aries. For those watching, please. This message is for Aries. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. This message is for Aries. This message is for those watching, please. for Aries. Are you ready? You're like, hell yeah, I'm ready. Come on with it already. All that shuffling. <laughs> Got ya. Uh, your overall energy right now, two of cups. This is about a connection. Doesn't have to be an intimate, intimate connection, but it can be. Um, this is just about a connection that's very near and dear to your heart. Someone very close to you. Could be um, a child, could be a parent, could be a sibling, um, could be a very close friend, a best friend, or it could be an intimate partner. Your opportunity or your situation, Nine of Swords. Okay, we got some worry going on here, some apprehension. Some anxiety. The monkey mind is spinning. It's going over and over and over and over, playing out different outcomes, playing out different scenarios. Your opportunity, the tower. Something has to be disassembled and dismantled and cleared out so that this monkey mind might, will go away. I think that's where the fear is coming in is that there must be a knowing. You got the star here, right? Connecting. There must be a knowing that something's ready to um, to have to go. What the universe is co-creating with you, four of swords trying to get you to heal. Respite, revitalization, renewal. That's why the queen of pentacles is here. This is really about some self-evaluation -evalu and some self-realization about some things in your life that need to be different. Some things need to really clear out. The star, it's time to get back to, you, to your innate nature. Time to connect back in. It's like you've been unplugged for a while. Uh, energies that surround you that you might not be aware of. Five of Cups. Grief, sadness, loss, pining, longing. Um, could be victim mentality. The glass is half empty. Just feeling empty. A lot of sadness, a lot of grief here. Energies that are coming in. The lovers. This could be about an intimate connection. Energies that are fading away, the Three of Pentacles working together, trying to build something, working with other people, how you're showing up in this situation, the Three of Cups. Sometimes the Three of Cups is about a soul contract. But I think in this instance, this Three of Cups is kind of um, putting on a front. Because you, you've, got some, you've got something major getting ready to go on here. So you may be on the outside, happy, joy, joy, everything's fine. But on the inside, there's a lot of pain and distress going on. What's right in front of you that you need to contend with? The Wheel of Fortune. This was faded. This was on your path. Things are changing. Things are turning. Things are going a different direction. Your hopes and fears, the Ten of Swords, you might be trying to fight this. Or you might have to surrender and accept. There might be some things in your life that you need to look at that are keeping you bound, that are keeping you oppressed, that are keeping you locked in. And your outcome, judgment, no wonder. 
This situation, because you've got the star and the queen of pentacles, this situation is bringing you back to yourself. It is bringing you back to your higher knowledge. It is bringing you back to your leadership ability. It is bringing you back to your soul illumination. It is bringing you back to be the frontline leader, the trailblazer. Not in a carnal sense, not in a 3D sense, although you are navigating through the 3D, but it's taking you back to this situation or this relationship or connection was here, it was faded, to get you back on track of understanding who the hell you really are. So let's see where we go with this. Clarify what the Nine of Swords is. This is uh, your situation. You're in a lot of angst. Upheaval. Uneasiness. Just feeling off balance. Scared. Tired. One more time through, please. We got justice. So things are off balance. Things need to come back into balance. This also could be something legal coming in. We got the Ten of Cups. We got the High Priestess. Well, you've got two very opposite energies here. You got the Ten of Cups, which is happy, 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 or it could be an illusion, right? And you got the Nine of Swords. So it, it's, it, what it looks like is that it seems like there's a lot of fear that this thought that, or this idea that you had about having your Ten of Cups isn't really what it was. Justice, cause and effect. Justice, um, unbalanced. Trying to find balance and harmony between what you fear and what you think it should be. So you're at odds with yourself. And you got the high priestess here. So whenever the high priestess shows up in a reading, in this situation, it's like, there's something about this that you've known all along, but you weren't paying attention. The high priestess knows, keeps it a secret, but the high priestess knows. Might not have been listening to your, to your intuitive hits or your intuition. Might have been listening more to what you had idolized, Ten of Cups, what you had idolized. And now justice is showing up because it's going to balance everything out. Because what you're really feeling inside is a lot of fear that, that what you had hoped for, the star, your theme, what you had hoped for really isn't what it is. Justice could be to the runner chaser game. So let's see what else is going on here. We got the tower over the two of cups. So some kind of connection is um, I don't want to say being dismantled but being breaking down. One more time through, please. Page of Swords. This ha could have something to do with either you're looking at somebody online or somebody's looking at you online. Somebody's watching from a distance. Got the Nine of Pentacles. We got the Ace of Pentacles. 
Give me one more. Because the Nine of Pentacles is about um, independence, building your own empire, really working on yourself. And the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. But it's over the tower. So this could be you. You may have discovered something online. Page of Swords, you may have found out some truth, some information. And now you're taking matters into your own hand. This is your opportunity to start again. Give me one more. Pop out, my friend. Pop out, pop out, pop out. This one I need to pop out. <laughs> Sorry. One more. One more on that. There we go. Yeah, Eight of Swords. This covers the tower. So, and it covers, the tower covers the two of cups. There's something in here about a relationship that's now being wiped out. It's just, it's being wiped out. Some sort of information came through Page of Swords. It could have been online. It could have been through another party. It could have been through um, a friend. Um, it could have been through, you know, maybe you saw something on social media. Um, that's just really putting you in a place of feeling like you're on your own. Nine of Pentacles, you're on your own. It's time for you to start over. Ace of Pentacles, it's time for you to start over. And this is going to be about how you run this narrative through your head. Eight of Swords. How, what you're telling yourself about this situation and how you see yourself in it. <laughs> This is your opportunity to really start working on the stories that you're telling yourself because you've got justice here, cause and effect in your situation. You've also got two very different energies between the Nine of Swords, which is fear, and the Ten of Cups, which is complete happiness. So there's something going on here because justice and High Priestess. There's something going on here that you're not listening to. High Priestess. And you got the Wheel of Fortune in here. This seems to keep going around and around and around and around in cycles. Wheel of Fortune. Patterns and cycles do not lie. And somehow, I think you're aware of this. High Priestess. Deep, deep inside, you're aware of this. Because how you really feel isn't matching up with what's happening on the outside. And you kind of know that. Because you're showing up as a three of, three of Cups, which is celebration time, happy, spending time with everybody. But there's a whole lot of sadness and pain in here. Fear, trying to heal. Five of Cups. So let's see what the Four of Swords is. This is what the universe is co-creating with you. This is, this is time to rest, rejuvenate, recoup. Time to heal, take a break, take a break, get away from it, let the tower happen. Knight of Swords, you can be very angry because things aren't working the way that you had expected them to work. One more time through, please. We got the Hierophant coming in, and we got the world. Well, we got Earth energy coming in here. This is Pacific to Taurus. We got Aquarius over here. We got Libra over here. We got the world. That's Aquarius again. We got an air sign here. 
We got judgment, that's Scorpio. So you may be dealing with one of those signs, but the universe is trying to get you, the universe is trying to get you to heal. You might have some anger and some resentment um, that has to do with maybe an earth sign. Because it's time, it's, there's a change here. World, endings, this is endings. Endings. You got a lot of major arcanas in this reading. A lot. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a big deal. This is a big deal. Pay attention. This is a big deal. This is being universal. This is almost like the universe is now like starting to step in. Because if you're not listening, High Priestess, if you're not really getting in tune, the lesson's going to keep coming back and it's going to be more intense. And it's going to get deeper. There's an ending here. There's an ending here. Could be with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I think that either you're angry or the other person's angry. Some, you need to heal. Somebody needs to heal. Somebody needs to heal. So let's see what the lovers is, because this is what's coming in. So clarify what the lovers is for Aries. I think, Aries, you had a, a reading similar to this last week as well. Um, I think it was about things getting louder or something getting louder. It, it seems to be on a... a um, like the messages seem to get be getting... The, it's the same message, but it's getting a little bit more bold seems to be the same message but it's getting a little bit bold it's getting a little bit louder let's see what the lovers is clarify what the lovers is for Aries one more time through please yeah I saw that four of pentacles coming out <clears throat> four of wands this could have been an engagement or it could have been some kind of um some kind of commitment here Got the Hierophant again, and you have the King of Wands. I think you might have another fire sign coming in. What do we need to know about this, this fire sign here? Let's hope you're not jumping out of one situation into another. What do we need to know about this fire sign coming in? I, I think that as you go through this and really start taking care of yourself, um, I think that this is going to lead to some sort of commitment some sort of commitment with somebody who's more like a wise counselor, a wise leader, a teacher. 
another fire sign, but we got fear here. Again, you've got the star card, hope, nine of swords, fear. So two opposing energies. You got stuck. There's extremes. There's extremes going on here is what it is. The highs are really high and the lows are really low. Because you got the Nine of Swords. It's like every time you get scared about something, every time something comes up that gives you fear, you go to your higher calling. Or you go, you're looking for help. You're looking for guidance. You're looking for wisdom. You seem to be stuck between the two worlds of like, one, you know, if the relationship is going good, all is well. Ten of Cups. If the relationship is on hiatus, you're in the Nine of Swords energy, which has come up here twice. Twice. And then when it gets to that is when you start moving towards, um, you know, praying and getting in touch with your innate self and getting in touch with, you know, um, the ethereal realm. So you're bouncing back and forth between the two. And really what this is supposed to be all about is you taking care of you and getting yourself back into balance and healing. If you are dealing with an earth sign, because you got the lovers here, that's air coming in. If you are dealing with an earth sign, some kind of commitment here, um, there's some fear around this sign maybe being King of Wands. Um... King of Wands is very flamboyant, very charismatic, very knight in shining armor, sweeps you off your feet, tells you everything you want to hear, takes you on the merry-go-round. Um, and then they're gone. Some kind of fantasy or illusion being played out here. Because underneath all this, there's a lot, there's a feeling of a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, feeling lost, like in the ch chasm, feeling in the chasm. So what is the Three of Cups here? No, oh, we got the moon. Something's hidden. Got the Two of Pentacles. Going back and forth, juggling. One more time through. Yeah, you got two extremes here again. And here's the two of two of pentacles coming in. You've got the moon, which things that are not seen, and then you got the ten of cups. And you're juggling in between the two. The moon is your deep, dark secrets and feelings, right? That's that high priestess coming in. That stuff that's like buried way deep that nobody knows about and you don't tell anybody. You also got two threes coming in here. So um, this could be about third party situations. It doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a third per, uh, a person, but it could be. But it could just be, you know, ten of swords in here. It could just be addictions. Deep seated addictions. Rooted really rooted in generations and that also could be playing a role in the dynamics here because fear is coming through fear and apprehensions coming through here twice the ten of cups is coming through here twice two very extreme energies highs are very high lows are very low and justice is trying to come in to like balance that out. But the only way it's going to get there is here's your opportunity. Let the tower happen. Let it happen. This is your chance to work on yourself. Nine of Pentacles. To work on yourself. To create a new beginning for yourself. 
and to really listen to all the stories in your that you're telling yourself the narrative the 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 jail that you're putting yourself in cuz cuz this pendulum swing is extreme that's got to be very very difficult and that's why the wheel of fortune is here right it's over here it's over here it's over here it's over here so let's see what the wheel of fortune is clarify what the wheel of fortune is for aries because your outcome in the end is that this is raising consciousness this is taking you back to yourself even though it doesn't seem like it Got the Ace of Pentacles showing up. We got the Lovers showing up again. So air sign's pretty loud in here. So this is a cycle between two people that keeps being, um, that keeps being wiped out and then new beginning and then wiped out and then new beginning it the patterns here the extremes are here yeah the wheel of fortune again and the fool walking very unconsciously See how she's walking at the edge of the cliff and she's just about ready to step off? Not, not, this is very unconscious behavior, characteristics. So let's find out, I'm just going to look at this Ten of Swords. In the extended, I'm going to look at um, definitely uh, Earth signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we've got a couple Aquariuses showing up and fire signs. So I will look at air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I will look at fire signs, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. Ten of Swords. Communication, you got communication coming in. And you got refusal to listen to it. So <clears throat> the patterns in the cycles are there, Ten of Swords. There, there's definitely a heavy-duty addiction going on here. He re th this is, the Ten of Swords is like right next to the devil. In fact, they, they work together, okay? And I think that either people are communicating with you or the patterns are communicating with you or the signs are communicating with you um, and you're just refusal being in a place of just you're not gonna listen you're not gonna it's just gonna be done your way or the highway um, which is really walking through unconsciously because the wheel of fortune here is here twice and the extremes are seen all over this reading So I will get some more information on this outcome in the extended. I will look at fire signs, air signs, and um, fire signs, air signs, earth signs in the extended as well. Um, and I'll dive a little bit deeper into this. But the theme for you is that wishing for yourself to really start connecting to yourself and understanding more why this dynamic is 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 going to such extremes and justice okay here we go in your situation what is taking responsibility what is it you're doing in this situation that keeps feeding the cycle what is it that you're doing in the situation that keeps feeding the cycle? That's why justice is here. Taking responsibility. So let's get a message from Divine Guidance for you. 
This is from the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle by Judy Hall. We've got Black Tourmaline and we've got Eye of the Storm. I know Black Tourmaline is a protective stone. Black Tourmaline Protection. Black Tourmaline absorbs negative energy and affords excellent energy protection, enhancing your physical vitality. You are adaptive, adjusting to new places and new situations. You have clarity of thought and analyze situations rapidly. Let go of overcautiousness, but stay protected. You sense it when people wish you ill. You may be carrying a family or past life curse, creating dis-ease. Recognize that negative thoughts and actions harm others and yourself. Your divination. Strengthen your protection. Consolidate plans. Be realistic. Ensure you are well protected. Ill wishing or envy may be directed your way. Neutralize bad energy without harm to others. Watch your thoughts. Attend to practical matters. Be generous and give others their freedom. And then Eye of the Storm, that was Black Tourmaline, and then Eye of the Storm. I have never heard that one before. It's really pretty. Safe Haven. You got two crystals that popped out of this deck, and you saw me shuffle, that are about protection and being safe. You got the Ten of Swords here, which is about... Um, deep, deep-seated lineage stuff in, in your entanglement here. This is entanglement. Ten of Swords. There's some sort of entanglement here that goes back lifetimes. That's why there's such extreme in this reading. Okay, so let's read the Eye of the Storm. Safe Haven. Eye of the Storm is a safe haven for your soul. A calm, a calm center no matter what upheavals may occur, a life support system during stressful times or a serious illness. Hold on to it during challenges so that you keep things in perspective. Your self-understanding. You may be allowing the challenges and traumas of life to push you off center. Stress and pressure are a major cause of your dis-ease. You could be focusing too closely on one aspect of your life to the detriment of others. Look at the wider picture. It's time to relax and let go, stay mindful rather than watchful. Excess adrenaline adversely affects your immune system. Switch on positive potential in your cell walls. Meditate, get quiet, rejuvenate, rest, heal. Your DNA needs you to heal. Stay calm through the storm no matter what rages on around you. So I hope this helped, Aries, and until next time, I hope for you the peace that passes all understanding. For those of you going on, the link is below, and I will see you over there. Bye-bye.